All right, guys. So this is in a uh, live time. So I'll probably do an edited video of this, like a speeded up video too. But for beginners and stuff like that, um, I'll do a uh, you know like a regular real time video. So okay, here we go. Uh, show you the products we're gonna use today. We are going to use some Art Tree Creations gel. This is their color called Patina. We've got another color for them. This is a pigment. This is copper. Art Tree Creations. And then I'm going to try another gel. This one looks pretty translucent. Um, Ultramarine, right there. So I've used this one quite a bit. Looks pretty good. And then I'm going to go over some white with it. Right here. Some of their epoxy resin white gel. Then I'm also going to use some of this Rust-Oleum protective enamel and kind of show you guys how to make some cells and stuff like that. So this is just a regular old Rust-Oleum you can get at the store. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description too so you guys can know exactly what to get. But there's the part number right there, 7779. So, Alright, here we go. Let's get started. Um, I might like... I don't know, I might edit the time like mixing the resin up and everything. I'm going to be using Pro Marine today. Uh, I think about 10 ounces. This is a little 12 inch pine board I got at the hardware store. So, alright, here we go. I'm going to get the stuff out and start mixing. Yeah. Like I said, I'm going to be using Pro Marine today. You know, there's part A. I don't know if everybody can see it. Then here's the part B, you know. And just mix uh, equal parts A and equal parts B. So, alright. Mixing stick. Got my little cups out. My little sticks out. Better get that paint can opened up too. Make sure all this stuff opens. Okay. There we go. That's all out. And then this is the size of the cup. I'm probably gonna mix like everything in today. It's like a 16 ounce cup. And let's see, what size are these hot rods over here? I dropped a cup. These say that they're little uh, five ounce cups. You know, it says it right there on the bottom. Boom. Five ounces. All right. <laughs> I'm being a dork. All right, cool. Uh, the resin, the resin. Okay. So, part A, part A. Just dropping shit everywhere. There's stuff everywhere. I'm gonna fill it right to the top. This might be too much, but I got some molds and stuff I want to try out and see if they work. So if it is too much, I got molds and I've got some coasters prepped if it's too much. Part B. Man, that looks pretty close.
I like to put the thinner stuff at the bottom. Put that in there and then sometimes I just I take a stick and I go around it too. Oh, I better open up that paint before I get going. The other stuff will open up pretty easy. Okay. Is my paint right here? Do, 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 do. Like I said, just straight red eyes can, nothing special about it. Okay, that's open. This will open, okay. This will open okay. That one's opening okay. That one's opening okay. Alright. Cool. And I'm going to add this in and then start mixing. So I'm just going to mix this probably for three or four minutes. Always going through and make sure I'm scraping my sides and stuff. Mix, mix, mix. And just make sure you always go around and scrape the sides too. Oh, spill a little bit, that'll be okay.
I think that's good enough. I'm gonna mix it a little bit too, like when I put it in these cups. Kind of get all this off there that I dripped. Okay, so if you've never seen a pigment gel, this is a pigment gel. It's kind of like what it looks like down there. I think for today, uh, I want to make it a little strong. About like that much. Doesn't take a lot of this stuff. So, put it right there. This is that patina color I was telling you guys about again. This is a gel. Like I said, it doesn't doesn't take a whole lot. I'm gonna stir this a little bit. It's gonna be really strong. That's okay. There we go. And here's more like their translucent gel. I think. Yeah, I think it's gonna be translucent. We'll see how it goes. Is that ultramarine? And then the copper pigment. This stuff is strong and it works good. It makes tons of cells. I love this stuff. You guys probably seen this in another video. That's what the pigment looks like with this copper stuff. It's pretty strong. I'm going to start out with about like that much. Then the black, I think I'm just going to mix the black in with like the main mixing cup. Because I'm going to use it for the base. So it'll be the base, it'll be the first thing that goes on there. Alright. Bam. <laughs> that ain't gonna work, is it? That's a mistake. Not everything's perfect all the time. Alright. Man, I think I mixed way too much. There we go. I might do this then and then just keep this and I might try something different here in a little bit. See how this goes, I'm gonna have to work quick. Alright. So I changed my mind instead of mixing the main one, I'm gonna mix in this one. I'm just gonna start off with a little bit of black. That ought to be enough. That actually might be too much. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's going to be good, I hope. Okay, all right, I'm going to start pulling these off of here. Mix the white up. See how it kind of just... And you always want to like look at your stick and make sure that your stick is, you can't see your wood grain. That's just a key indicator I go off of. I'm kind of excited to see this color. Oh man. Kind of good looking color. There we go. And the ultramarine. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. See how it's kind of translucent a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but a little translucent. And the copper. This stuff is awesome. I 
that's pretty cool looking. I've always loved their copper. This stuff does some cool stuff. I'll show you here in a little bit. All right. Cool. All right. And this is the black. We're going to put the black down for base. There we go. All right, and then also for the swipe technique that I'm going to do here, we're just going to use regular old parchment paper. Boom, 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 parchment paper. Might heat this up real quick with the torch and kind of get it moving a little bit. Let's get some bubbles and stuff like that out of there. It's dimpling bad in the middle. I don't know what's going on. Okay. What am I going to do here now? Now the white. down some copper. this up a little bit. Well, it's already starting to saw right there. You can see that like crazy. See all that? Yes. 
sheet of replacement paper. Okay, come in here. Drag. Dude, that copper right there, that is sick looking. Right there, that's my favorite right now. Well. Let's put the heat to it and see what the heck happens. That's kind of cool looking. I'm going to try some more stuff here real quick, guys. Jeez, look at that copper just coming right through like that. What to do? Look at that. Look at all that right there. That's freaking sick. Hmm. Well. I wonder if I can't just heat that and get some regular cells. I'm going to try that. Might be the wrong call. That's the plan, Stan. That's what we're going to do.
try something funky here in the center. Let's try this, see what the heck happens. Freaking cool. Dude, that is so awesome. Cool as hell. That thing's like pretty wicked all over. Some bubbles. Man, you see that copper selling up like that? That is just nuts. Don't really want to heat it too much because you put too much heat in that. Copper goes everywhere. I'm gonna leave that one alone, dude. That one is sick looking. I don't think I have one more bubble back there. I see it. Dude, guys, that thing's freaking cool. I like it. <laughs> that thing's awesome looking. I'm leaving it. Hell yeah. Oh shit, I got that other resin. I mean, oh crap, I got that other resin. I better get some molds or something out. What do I want to make? Yeah, let's make some dog calls. I might get me some, uh, get me some alcohol juice out of here in a minute. Do that. Uh, you guys won't be able to see that on camera. So, cool. All right, well, that's what we got right there. That thing's freaking wicked looking. I'm going to leave that thing alone. Dude, that thing's sick. That thing is so cool looking. All right, I'm going to work on these molds. All right, guys, that's it. That's all you get. <laughs> I 
I wish there was a way I could move the cameras and everything, but uh, yeah, so there we go. Okay, that's real time, and change my gloves out, grab some inks, and get this other resin going so I don't waste it. Okay, bye everybody.